Hey there, gang. So you could consider this an extension of the video that I put up called Research. Um, I'm pretty good about research, um, whether it's music or cooking, whatever it is that I'm interested in. Chess, I play a lot of chess. You have to look into what you're doing very, very deeply to be excellent at it, right? Like, we gotta admit that's part of the game and then the rest is practice. Okay, well, here's one time where I thought I did research but I might have gone a little further and it would have been helpful, though I got through it. I'm reading this article about Curtis Mayfield and the impressions in the latest uh, issue of Uncut. And it reminded me of the time I worked with the blind boys of Alabama. A lot of similarities there. The biggest similarity is Curtis, much like Pop Staples, played and sang, which was unusual for R&B groups back then. They usually just had the group in front of the band. And the Blind Boys of Alabama came in. Uh, we were really honored that they agreed to be on the Song of America. You can catch the song on the Song of America, the three CD set that I produced. The four of them came in. Jimmy was still in the group. He was still alive. Um, Clarence was still around. It was amazing, amazing. But as much research as I had done into the group and looked into their background, their catalog mostly, I didn't get one thing. And that's in the history of the Blind Boys of Alabama, at least early, from the early days. And remember, we still have two guys from the early days in the group when I worked with them. They played with a guitar player. They had a guy who played electric guitar and they sang. And so when they showed up, they're like, okay, like, you know, what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, here's the song. And, you know, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we, we know that song. That's an old slave song. And um, yeah, let's, uh, so in the lounge of the studio, they started working it up and it was just incredible to watch. I wish we had filmed it. I think we did film it, but no one knows what happened to it. Anyway, it was just awe-inspiring to watch them work. And then we moved to the studio after about an hour. And we get to the studio and Jimmy says to me, hey, um, who's gonna play guitar? Uh, what? And he's like, who's gonna play guitar? We usually, you know, like, like to have a guitar player to play to. And I'm like, well, can you do it a cappella? He's like, yeah, um, but we're, you know, that's how we feel comfortable and at least get us started. So I was the only guitar player there, duh. So I'm like, okay, what key are we in? F sharp, oh, awesome, a guitar key, <laughs> you know? And I'm like, so this isn't daunting. So we get out there and the thing is, those old gospel chords are sort of inversion, jazzy, they're not, standard voicings, or at least they shouldn't be, right? Like they're, you're not playing bar chords, you're not playing one, four, five. You've got to play a lot of passing chords or production chords and voicings to really make it come alive. So I'm freaking out because it's an F sharp. All I have is an acoustic guitar. Thank God I brought my acoustic guitar with me. And so I made the decision, I'm going to sit, we're going to put them in a circle. I mean, they're you know, the, the blind boys of Alabama. You put them in a circle and let them sing around and to each other. And we put a decatree setup of microphones that's like two microphones on top of each other like this in figure of eight and no headphones. And they're like, no headphones? I'm like, what, do you need headphones? Oh, no, no, we don't need headphones. Okay, cool. And as we ran down the song, I got progressively further away from them because I realized, okay, yeah, they need the guitar for comfort, um, but the song doesn't need the guitar. So I would start playing and through the first couple takes, I think we have the first couple takes on tape still, and I had play the first couple takes and then slowly but surely I'd start backing away and then playing softer and softer and then just, you know, eventually I was just playing like the first chord to give them a tonic and then out. So that's why you don't hear guitar on the recording. But if I had done my research, I would have been better prepared and might have been able to play on the recording. Although to be honest, I think it's awesome with nothing. And after we were done, it was funny. Jimmy goes, okay, so what are you gonna do with this? And I'm like, what do you mean, what are we gonna do with this? And he's like, well, you're gonna put, you know, you're gonna gussy it up and put a bunch of stuff on it and everything. And I'm like, 
No, why? It sounds amazing. He's like, well, that's what people usually do with our stuff. And I'm like, you think it needs it? He's like, nope. And I'm like, well, then we're not going to do that. <laughs> and that's why what you hear on the Song of America from the Blind Boys of Alabama is an acapella recording because I think we were tasteful and smart enough to not gussy it up. So do your research. Be prepared, no matter how prepared you think you are, you're not.